first understand the brain, its parts, and what they do. Our brain is the most complicated organ of our body. It has three major parts, the cerebellum, cerebrum, and brain stem, which is also known as the medulla. The cerebrum is the biggest part of the brain. It controls our senses, our imagination, and our thoughts. So, whatever we see, touch, taste, smell, think, or imagine is controlled by the cerebrum. The second major part is the cerebellum. It is known as the little brain. It controls our motion, balance, and our ability to learn new things. For example, you can walk without falling because of the cerebellum. Also, it helps with learning any new thing. The third major part is the medulla. It is also known as the brain stem. It does a few things, which are called involuntary actions. It controls our digestion, heartbeat, and breathing. These things happen automatically in our body. We don't have to put any effort here. So now you know about the brain. Can you remember it all? Good. The cerebrum is in charge of sensing, thinking, and imagination. Wow, you're right. The cerebellum is also responsible for muscle movement and control, and it also helps us in learning. Great. You're right about the medulla also. It is running our body from the inside. Now, do you want to learn about the peripheral nervous system? The peripheral nervous system is made up of many nerves, which are present throughout the body. The peripheral nervous system has two functions. Some nerves receive information, like when you taste something. These messages are carried to the brain by these nerves. The nerves which take the message from senses to the brain are called sensory nerves. Other nerves carry messages from the brain to the body. These are called motor nerves. They carry instructions from the brain to the body on what action to take. Like, for example, if you were eating chili, which the brain told you was bitter, so now you're doing a spitting action. All nerves are made up of neurons. A neuron has three major parts, a nucleus, which is the cell body, dendrites, and the axon. Dendrites take in the electric messages to cell bodies. Axons take the message away from the cell body. So dendrites are like entry to a parking lot, and axons are the exit route from parking. So, buddy, do you now know why the brain is important? Good. Now you're going to www.makemegenius.com for science videos. <clears throat> it also has lots of interesting facts and PowerPoint presentations for children.